Good afternoon, I'm Malcolm Jordan and this is your Midday News Fix for Tuesday the 21st of May. National MP David McLeod's accepting full blame for not declaring 19 candidate donations in an error picked up by the party last week. The new MP says he filed the return he thought was for last year only, believing $168,000 of donations from 2022 had already been filed. McLeod says he also discovered an undisclosed $10,000 donation from last year. The law is clear that I am responsible for the accuracy of the return. I'm taking responsibility for that. It is my error for signing this that it not being true and correct. Plans to reopen Numea's airport continue to be hampered by riots and civil unrest. The Defence Force is still waiting on the green light from French authorities to fly in and retrieve tourists stuck in New Caledonia. Commercial flights remain cancelled due to the unrest. 290 Kiwis are registered as being there. Prime Minister Christopher Luxon says discussions with the French are ongoing. Winston Peters is doing a brilliant job over the weekend and even over the, overnight uh, pushing the French system very clearly uh, in Numbia and also in Paris. Labour says a major announcement was missing from the government's revelations about Kayanga Ora. An inquiry into the state housing provider has found it needs big savings to be financially viable. Cabinet's agreed to simplify the agency's direction and refresh its board, which will be tasked with improving the finances. Labour's Kieran McAnulty wants to know whether income-related rent subsidies will continue. We've got community housing providers cancelling projects because of a lack of certainty. We've got Kainga Ora pausing projects. They've been waiting seven months to hear that commitment. The maintenance of an emergency door at Al Noor Mosque is being called into question. A coronial inquest into the 51 deaths during the 2019 attacks is resuming, this time focusing on whether the door failed to function and why. Worshippers were forced to break the glass to try to escape. Emily Ansel has more. Deputy Chief Coroner Bridget Windley is due to hear from three witnesses today. Yesterday she heard a brief from a survivor who attempted to open the door during the attack and a builder who described difficulty using the lock in the days following. Met Service has issued orange heavy rain warnings for Hawke's Bay, Tararua District and Wairarapa. A heavy rain watch applies to Tairawhiti with severe thunderstorm watches there and in Waikato, Bay of Plenty, Topo and Rotorua. State Highway 35 is closed by surface flooding between Tapuia Township and Tokomaru Bay. Heavy rain hit Auckland overnight and fire and emergency had almost 70 weather call-outs between 11pm and 2am. Emergency Management Minister Mark Mitchell says some people moved, but fens didn't have to evacuate anyone. I think the worst of it now has come through, but obviously I'm watching very closely to see what happens on the Coromandel, Tairawhiti and, and down to the Hawke's Bay. To sport, weightlifter David Leite has been confirmed in the New Zealand team for the Paris Olympics. Crusaders captain Scott Barrett will miss another week of Super Rugby with a back injury. World number one golfer Scotty Scheffler's court appearance has been delayed until June 3 after getting charged with injuring a police officer ahead of the PGA Championship second round. And Rafael Nadal has returned to practice at Roland Garros and to work out whether to compete for a 15th singles title at the French Open starting Sunday. I'm Malcolm Jordan, that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at 5pm from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.